Hello, welcome to my channel. That means giving my playoff Europa League predictions. Um, of course, Europa League is returning on Thursday. This is um, they got rid of like the last 32, and they're gonna do it as like a playoff now. The first one they've ever done it. Um, of course, where teams from finishing third in the Champions League group drop down to play the team who finished second in their Europa League group. And uh, I must say, we've got some pretty good games to look forward to, guys. Of course. The team I want to win the whole Europa League is Barcelona. Come on, um, because of course Arsenal are not in Europa League. We, we we don't have to talk about that. But you know, um, anyway, let's get around to predictions. I was going to work. I'm basically going to give you um, of course my prediction for both legs, and now I'm going to give you my overall uh, leg score, whatever happens in the two legs. So, get signed for kicking this off for Barcelona, taking on Napoli. Now, of course, Barcelona get a new manager under Xavi. Were absolutely embarrassing in Champions League. They had of course Bayern Munich in their group, uh, which was. You would presume, right, with the, with the group they had with Bayern Munich, Benfica, themselves, and uh, Dinamo uh, Kiev, what, what, was it Dinamo Kiev? Yeah, um, that they would finish at least second in their group, but they actually finished third, of course, they're in Europa League now. So um, that was pretty embarrassing for them. Of course, they went through uh, managerial change with Ronald Koeman. Now they've got Xavi, and to be fair to Xavi, I think he's doing great so far, and I think he's going to be really, he's, he's going to be a class manager for them. Um, and he has managed clubs before, like he's managing. Qatar, and, it, and he said in his in, in one of his press conferences that he, it's his dream to coach Barcelona again. And of course, he what a player it was as well, by the way. Um, so they got they got a really tough game, a really really tough game if if they want to get anywhere in the Europa League competition against you know um, and that Napoli. You know they are currently in a title race. I think they're second in Serie A. They might be first, second. I haven't checked the table, but. Um, I know they're doing bits right now. Of course, they've got Victor Osherman, they've got Lorenzo Signe, they've got some really, really good players at Napoli, and I think it's going to be a really, really good game. This um, I'm really, this is the game that I'm going to look forward to the most. Um, and obviously, in terms of Barcelona, signing people like Adama Traore and Abamian, I think they'll both play a big part in this, in, in playing in the Europa League. Um, in terms of La Liga, Barcelona currently sitting in fourth, uh, fifth, sorry, because Athletic Madrid did win yesterday. So, um, you know, I think Barcelona they're going to focus on getting Champions League in the league as well, finish high as high up as possible. They don't really want to win the Europa League. To just sit, to, if, if that's the only way to get Champions League, I guess they want to do it in, in the league as well. And of course, maybe win the Europa League. But I reckon if you have Xavi will play probably play people like Abamian and Chayori for this game. And I think Barcelona in the first leg, yeah, it, 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 I can't speak. Uh, it is at home uh, at, at camp at, at the new camp, so. I reckon it's going to be a 1-0 Barcelona win in the first leg. And in the second leg, I think it's going to be in Naples, I reckon it's going to be 1-0 draw. So overall, Barcelona will go through 2-1 um, on aggregate into the uh, last 16. Uh, so next up, we've got the Zenit of Russia against Real Betis of Spain. And yeah, I've got to talk about Real Betis. They're doing absolutely bits right now. They're doing super Real Betis. Um, currently in th uh, fourth, I think, no, I'm pretty sure they're like third in, 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 in the Liga. Like yeah, pretty sure I need to double check that. But um, they're doing absolutely bits. They're doing so well. Um, of course, you've got players that we know like Hector Better in there, uh, Fakir and all that. But uh, coming up against top of the league Russian side Zenit Saint Petersburg again. They dropped down from Champions League. They was in Chelsea's group. They had Juventus and yeah, you wouldn't expect them to get past Juventus and Chelsea, right? And um, they finished third in their group. So um, the first leg is at home. Zenit top of the league. I reckon Zenit will win this one two one at home. And in the second leg, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Real Betis. Actually, in, so first I'm gonna go two one, and then in the second leg, I'm gonna go with a nil-nil draw. So uh, then it will go through um, two one on aggregate. So yeah, well, a really good, really good game now. Bridgman Dortmund taking on Rangers now. Game is over. Bridgman Dortmund currently second in the league as they always are. You know, Munich obviously dominate the whole uh, Bundesliga all the time. So. They're not going to win the league this season, but I must say their, their Champions League group was absolutely shambles from British Dortmund, right? They had, of course, Ajax, who was superb in it, by the way. Um, they had, who, they, who was the other team? They had Besiktas, right? Um, and then they had Sporting Lisbon, and they finished third in, in that group. Unbelievable, but yeah, they're, they're going to come down to Europa League, and um, they've got some quality, quality players, don't get me wrong, British Dortmund, but obviously they, they have tendencies to bottle it, don't they? They can bottle you know, competitions like this, you know, they've just done they just look the prime examples this season, right? Um, of course Erling Haaland, you know, Drew Benham, um, they've got some really, really good players, like you know, they've got um their their defence as well, they've got uh, Kanji, 
They've got Munier, uh, they've got um, Guerrero, they've got Fogden Hazard. Um, yeah, so <coughs> they've got quite a lot of good players. So, of course, they got rid of, uh, there's no Jaden Sancho anymore, he's going to Man United. So, uh, in terms of Rangers as well, I mean, they're one point off of Celtic in, in, in the Scottish Premiership right now. It's just signed Aaron Ramsey as well. First leg at Dortmund, I reckon they get Dortmund will, will win this 3 1. Second leg, I'm going to go with a 2 all draw. Uh, I reckon the Rangers can get a 2 all draw in the second leg, but of course, um, British and Dortmund will win 5 3 on aggregate. I've got the mighty Sheriff against Braga. Now, Sheriff, big, big up to Sheriff. I mean, they, no one expects them to f even finish third in their group with Madrid, Inter Milan, Shakhtar Donetsk, and they beat Madrid. <coughs> they beat Shakhtar, um, and they ended up finishing third. So, you know, fair play to Sheriff, and I think, you know, they, they, I think they're, are they Mondovian? I think they're from Mondova. Um, coming up against Braga, who are fourth in the Portuguese league, um, yeah, I, I reckon Sheriff is going to win this. First leg, I'm going to go 1 0 Sheriff, and second leg, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go. I'm going to go 2 all second leg. I don't know what it is, I'm going to go 2 all second leg. I mean, it's Sheriff will advance 3 2 on aggregate. The next game is Severe taking on. Um, uh, Dinamo Zagreb, and yeah, for me, there's only one win, and that's severe. I mean, they're, they're currently doing it absolutely. They're, 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 what a season they're having! You know, top of the league, uh, not top of the league. So, what am I saying? They're, they're literally two points off top uh, in, in in La Liga, and yeah, Dinamo Zagreb playing uh, finished second in West Ham's group, and for me, they ain't great. So, there's, there's only one winner, severe. I mean, what what a manager they've got, what players they've got. You know, Kunde, who Chelsea want to buy, they've got a Bueno in goal. They've got Diego Carlos, they've got um, El Nezari up front, they've got, of course, Gomez. They've got so many quality, quality players. And, um, yeah, I think there's, there's only one winner for me. First leg, Sevilla's going to win it's 3 0. Uh, second leg is going to be 2 0 Sevilla. Um, overall, I think they're going to win 5 0 on aggregate. Going on to Atalanta taking on Olympiacos. Now, we know Olympiacos as Arsenal fans, don't we? Because we obviously got knocked out by them. Um, when uh, El Arabi scored that last minute goal. So Olympiacos, of course they've got Socrates as well, who used to play for Arsenal. And yeah, yeah Olympiacos, they, they, they know how to score the upsets and I think they're a decent side as well. Um, Atalanta, of course, was in Villarreal, Man United's group as well. So, and they finished third. <sighs> this is quite a tough one to score. I reckon the first leg is going to be a 2 1 uh, Atalanta win. Second leg. I'm going to go 2 0 Olympiacos. I actually think Olympiacos can do it, you know. I reckon they can do it. I'm going to go 3 2 Olympiacos and have a good. So, yeah. Come on, Olympiacos, man. Uh, RB Leipzig taking on Real Sociedad. This is going to be a class game. Of course, Leipzig, you didn't expect them to finish fourth, but you did expect them to finish third. Let's be real. They weren't going to beat PSG in Man City. Um, but they can cause upsets, Leipzig. Um, and, of course, they're fourth in the Bundesliga right now. They've got. Um, Good players as well, so very very close. Of course, uh, they've got Alex on the Isaac who we try to sign, and another team that's having a really really good season in in the in in uh, La Liga. Um, they've got obviously David Silva as well. We've played for Manchester City. They've got um, as I said, uh, Alex on the Isaac. They've got um, the other player. What's his name? The uh, I can't I can't pronounce his name, man. He, he, I, I know that like, he's a quality quality player. So for me, this is gonna be a really tough game to. I reckon the first leg Leipzig will win this 2-1 and the second leg I'm going to go for I'm going to go oh this is going to be tough I'm going to go Leipzig to win this first the first leg 2-1 and the second leg I'm going to go with a one all draw um, so yeah overall Leipzig will go through what's the final game then we've got Porto of Portugal taking on Lazio of Italy and of course Lazio got um, a Mobley they've got Felipe Anderson and um, Porto again, I think yeah, they are top of their league. So finishing third in, in their Champions League group. Of course, they had Liverpool in there. They had the Milan. They had um, Atletico. Was it was it Atletico? I can't remember now. It might it might have been Atletico. I actually think it was Atletico. Yeah, they, they, so they had a really really tough group, and um, they did finish third in it. Oh, this could be quite a tough game. I'm gonna go first leg. I'm gonna go with one 0 Porto. And then in the second leg, I'm gonna go with a nil-nil draw. That's what I'm, I don't think there's gonna be many goals in both of these legs. 
I can just see two teams, two very, very good teams, but I think Porto is just going to edge this. Um, so, yeah, there we have it, guys. That is my uh, playoff predictions. So, the team's going to go through Barcelona, Zenit, uh, Dortmund, Sheriff, Severe, Olympiacos, Leipzig, and Porto will all be going through to the last 16. If you guys did enjoy the video, want me to do the Champions League last 16 um, pr uh, predictions and make sure. Let's try and get at least 20 likes on this video. I know it's a big off, but yeah, let's try and get that, and I'll see you on the next one.